What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is popping YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dup Ass Panda and today I have another product review for you guys. Today I'm going to be using a new gel to do tribal feed and braids on my beautiful client Cheyenne and in my last review video one of my subscribers had asked if I had ever used the Eben braid formula and I have so I'm super excited to bring this review to you guys today. So it is called the braid formula and I am using the super hold. This is their strongest hold and what I do all the time at first is stick my finger in it and it, this product was not dense at all you guys can see that my spatula is going right through it so initially that's already like red flags for me because I'm like why is this product so loose if it's supposed to be a super hold but just because a product is not extremely thick does not mean that it's not gonna have a good hold power so we are gonna just go ahead and power through this style and see if it's given what it's supposed to have gave so the first thing that I'm doing is using it for parting and it's holding its texture as I'm parting, which is a really good sign. Um, you guys can see that I'm able to get a nice, clean, and defined part with this product. So the more I started to use the product, the more I started to feel like it was reminding me of the Yellow Shining Jam. And as I did my first two braids, I was like, okay, I'm really gonna have to put in some work with this product. I'm gonna have to bring the grippers out because it is a very slippery product. And so it's very easy for the base of your braid to come out really loose. So you do wanna make sure that you are really gripping and keeping your fingers toward the base of your client's head just to get um, the best grip on it. If you are a beginner, I think that this is gonna be a harder product for you to manipulate, but it might be some good practice for you. Typically products that are thicker, um, um, just a little more dense or have a stickier consistency to it is a little bit easier to grip with and so I noticed that right off the bat I was like okay Cheyenne my client her hair is already pretty straight um, that's just the texture of her hair and so that on top of this product I was like yeah I'm really gonna have to put in a little bit more work than typical just to get her some nice flat and tight braids so I was hoping that I had a video of the finished knotless in the back, but I didn't get to get a finished video, but um, they were cool or whatever. This is definitely not a product that I would use to complete a full head of knotless. I would do it if I had a client with fine hair because my clients with fine hair, I don't like to use super thick or heavy products. Um, but I feel like if I were to try to use this on a type four clients, whether it's 4C, B, A, any type of coarse hair, it would definitely be a struggle to get, you know, just a super neat and clean mold on it. So we are going to be using it on the feed and braids next. And I'm not going to lie, this product was not super bad for the feed and braids. All around, I just needed it to have a slightly stronger hold. Like I said, if you're going to say a product is super hold, like it needs to live up to that. This did not give me super hold. It was more of like a regular hold. Um, but for feed and braids, you know, I have said before that I like a loose type texture so this product wasn't extremely bad but I just needed a little bit more from it um, but this is definitely a product that I would okay for doing small feed and braids larger stitch braids I would definitely have to combine this with some type of spritz or something because like I said it's just a really really loose product so let's talk about price point. I got the 11 ounce jar, which was $17 at my local beauty supply. You can find it online for $12. I know that things are always cheaper online, but a lot of these products I just pick up at my local beauty supply. Um, and you know, beauty supplies be taxing, which is why I like to buy my products online. So I actually found a link to this product on Amazon. So if you guys want to try it, it will be linked in the description section for you guys. Now, they do have a medium and a regular hold product, which I'm kind of nervous to use because I'm like, if this is what the super hold is giving, what are those products really going to give? But I'll definitely try those out for you guys as well and give you my opinion on that. For this product, like I said, I would definitely use it for the front of a client's head to do feed and braids, but I would not use this for a full head of knotless box braids. And sometimes I do do that. I'll use two different products in the front and the back of my client's head, depending on what type of hold I need for this style. Because again, just to reiterate, when I'm doing stitch braids or feed and braids, I do like more of a looser product. As far as the scent goes, to be honest, guys, I can't even remember the scent, which tells me that it had to be something subtle because typically if it stinks, 
or if the scent is strong then I'll definitely remember it um, but I don't really remember this having like a strong scent or anything to it so yeah I'm just gonna let you guys watch me um, complete these tribal braids I've been loving doing tribal styles lately I don't know why I like the little creativity in the front and then the knotless box braids in the back and they're just really easy and fun and quick to do so I've been really enjoying these so if y'all like to see more tribal styles then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll definitely get clients to do that really whatever videos you guys want to see I'm trying to like change my content on my youtube channel and just really gear it to towards what you guys want to see so if you guys have any requests let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can So lastly, let's talk about how this product dries because anytime I'm using a product that says extreme hold or super hold, I'm always nervous about it having any type of gray casting on it when it dries, any type of white residue or it just being super crusty. And on this bottle, it says high shine, no residue and smoothing. And I would definitely have to say check, check, check. I did not get any type of residue when this product dried um, before and after the style. And... I don't know about like the high shine, you know, it, it definitely doesn't dry crusty or anything, but I wouldn't say it's just gleaming either, but um, I would definitely say in that aspect that it is a good product. So as always, don't forget to check the description section so you guys can get the links to all the products that I use. I link literally everything down to the combs. If there's something in the description section that I may have missed, then let me know and um, I'll go ahead and put it in there for you guys. If you guys are interested in seeing me style live, because most of my clients I am doing on live now, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok at DopeAssPanna, and make sure you guys have the subscribe button clicked on YouTube, as well as the notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I go live. I'm definitely trying to build a schedule in my live uh, viewings, but I'm not there yet. Um, so sometimes it is just random or sporadic. So make sure you guys follow me on all platforms that you guys have so that you guys can be notified every single time that I'm styling live that's what's always hard for me because it's like the same way of doing it i probably broke your heart the moment we met don't you understand the way i move is not a flex it's how i move baby girl i take steps tiptoe So for my clients, I am doing fluffy edges. This is definitely a, a preference. This is something that I ask all my clients. I never just do their edges however I want. I always ask that they want edges and how they want them to look. Um, so for Cheyenne, we are gonna be doing some fluffy edges. Of course, I'm using none other than the Dove Collection. My edge control is still in stock, has always been in stock, as well as my mousse and everything else. I will leave links for all that in the description section down for you guys below. So make sure if you guys haven't already, you go ahead and check that out because it is bomb.com. And I love the way that her edges turned out. Guys, these braids are looking amazing, absolutely fire. And I know you guys will be amazed by the finished look. So I know the question you guys want to know is would I use this product again? I would definitely use this product again for feed and braids only. I would not use this product for any type of clients with super, super coarse hair, but maybe like a medium type texture to fine hair. 
Um, and yeah, that would be my honest review on this product. I hope you guys loved and enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to see me review any other products, drop them in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys so much for rocking out with me and watching this video. Don't forget to like it before you leave and I will catch you in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?